In terms of world history, if the village of Walton is famous for anything, it is as the location of the world's first nature reserve. This is a video about Waterton's Wall that acted as the boundary and the defence of that original nature park. The wall was built at the initiative of the famous naturalist and explorer Charles Waterton, who lived here at Walton Hall at what would have been the central point and base of operations for the management and maintenance of the nature reserve. Since he didn't drink, the wall was effectively paid for with what would otherwise have been Waterton's beer money. Construction began in 1821 and, over time, came to encircle the Walton Hall estate. The wall runs for about three miles and was completed in 1826 at a cost of around £9,000, which was a rather princely sum back in the day. The best preserved part of the wall seems to be the section that runs from the top of the Cherrytree estate and follows what was previously the line of the old Barnsley Canal. That is the part of the wall that you can see here. This is also an important spot because you can see the wall juxtaposed with the infrastructure of the Industrial Revolution from which presumably nature was being protected. As a result, I like to think of Walton as the village where nature met the Industrial Revolution. If you cross the canal at the second bridge up ahead, you can see a cottage that is built into the wall itself. This must have been used by one of the people employed by Charles Waterton to run the estate. The wall then changes direction and heads towards Hall Park Wood. On this section of wall, you can see where repairs have been made to aid in its preservation. Measures used have included rendering, the use of bricks and breeze blocks to fill gaps, as well as more sensitive measures involving stone and pointing. Repairs have also been sensitive to the needs of wildlife. After following the wall in Hall Park Wood, it then takes another change of direction as it circles Walton Hall. This section is probably the least well preserved part of the wall, as you can see here. The line of the wall follows the trees before changing direction again on its circular route. The next section of wall is also in a poor state of repair and parts of this section that were, only quite recently, in good condition are now deteriorating. This current section of wall is noteworthy due to the presence of a gateway running from Walton Hall. Thankfully, this is still in a reasonable state of repair. As this important historical structure continues to deteriorate, I think it is important that people visit it, photograph it and video it in all seasons and in different weather conditions in order to provide some measure of preservation. After all, future generations might not be able to see the actual wall as we can see it today.